Hey, what's up, guys? This is my Cyber Dragon deck profile, and this is the Cyber Dragon uh, Yu Gi Oh Day mat for today. So, to start off, we're gonna play our three uh, Cyber Dragons regular. Uh, pretty simple, you know, just special summons itself. And it, uh, it does a lot more than you would think for a legacy uh, boss monster. I mean, for a legacy main monster. And then I play two Nastures. Uh, he special summons any 2100 attack or defense machine. And uh, that's like a gimmick in the Cyber Dragon deck. Uh, one, probably the most important normal summon in the deck. Uh, core to search out any spells or traps that you may need. And then three hertz. Uh, just because he's a very good uh, like recurring. For your, uh, you know, hand. Because he adds back a Cyber Dragon from your graveyard. Which is any of them in the graveyard. Or from your deck, which is just the original. Uh, two Dre. Because uh, he's not really the best for your first turn. But then when you... Like after you... Like your next turn. Because you want to go second. And then, you know, your... I guess the fourth turn of the duel. You know, when you have a couple monsters on the field, you just summon him. They all become level 5. You can go to an infinity. And, uh, you know, after you break their board, it's hard to get over another infinity and stuff like that, depending on what they're playing. And then, three Galaxy Soldiers. <clears throat> He's just a very good way to get into a infinity early on. You can put Cyber Dragons in the grave for Repair Plant. And then, uh, Galaxy Soldier and Hurts is just two cards. It's just infinity. Which is really good. Uh, I only main deck two kaijus, two uh, Jizukiru specifically, because he is searchable, because he is a light machine with repair plant. Three of this new guy, uh, Yada. Uh, he's really good with uh, core, because you can normal summon core, search for like repair plant. And then you can tribute it and to special summon him. And he's a level 5 light machine. And then um, you can search for like Hertz with a repair plant. I mean not Hertz, uh, Nashter. And then if you can send a Cyber Dragon to Grave, you can get an easy uh, uh, inf Nova and Infinity right there. Because you get an additional normal summon and Nova, not Nova, um, Nashter and Dre ha get their effects on normal summon. Uh, three cyber emergencies to search out your cyber dragons and uh, well any of them really and I don't play Elton in but uh, Some do and if you do uh, he's really good to search out with this Two regular repair plants. I feel like three is just too much uh, it's not as uh, Easy to use as emergency because emergency has no restrictions and repair plant you need to get a cyber dragon engrave and sometimes you start out with a hand that can't do that. So you rather see Emergency. But Repair Plant can search out like the Gizmac and the Jizukirus and stuff. Uh, three Rev System. Uh, I was thinking about cutting it to two. But I always stick with three just because it's uh, it's really good to flood the board a little bit. And to keep on like going into like a Nova and Infinity and like a Clee Fort. One Cyber Load Fusion. Uh, I didn't play this for a while. But it ended up being really uh, good. Better than I thought. Because you can fuse into like Chimera Tech during your opponent's turn. And pop their spells and traps. And if you uh, Cybernetic Overload. Then you can like bring them all back. So you don't have to worry about using up all your monsters. Three Power Bond. You know. You can't run a machine deck that has fusions without Power Bond. And three machine dupes. This is for, you know, the Hertz, the Core, the, the Nashter. You know, you can just easily get out two Cyber Dragons and it's just, it's just too good. Especially with Clee Fork because then you get a free search. Uh, one Monster Reborn. Just, you know, to bring back things like, mainly things like Nashter. So then you can bring back a uh, Nova along with it. Or just bring back the Nova or Infinity. 
or even like the fusions if you summon them. Uh, Overflow. This card is really good. Like, non-targeting. Uh, doesn't banish for cost. And if it gets destroyed, then you can. If it gets targeted to get destroyed by like Nightmare uh, Phoenix, then you just chain it, and then you get a search, and you get to destroy stuff along with it. It's just a little too crazy. And then one Cybernetic Revolution. Uh, you, some might say to cut this out. Some might say not to. I think playing the one is fine. You know, because sometimes you can't do much. And you can just end off with this. And then tributing something to get like. To get like one of the bigger fusions out. As like a defensive maneuver. And speaking of, here's the extra deck. One Chimera attack. And one Cyber Twin. I only play Cyber Twin just because I really like him. I think he's a really cool card and stuff like that. And uh, Chimera Tech just... You almost always want to go into him when you have Power Bond. He's just the better choice. He can pop. He can attack multiple times. He floods the graveyard. He He's just too uh, too well-rounded. He does like way too much. One Cyber End Dragon. He's a good target for when... Um, you, you're not really going to summon him off of Power Bond. Unless you're like playing against someone who left like an incantation or something. But um, he's just a really good target for uh, Nova. If he gets destroyed and you can special summon 4,000 attack. That uh, does piercing. Uh, Cyber Eternity Dragon. Which is who I usually summon off of Revolution. So that you know I can just banish him out the grave. And then my other fusions are protected if I go into them. And he, he can float too. He's decent. Oh, and he and if you have another fusion, machine fusion grave, he can't be targeted, which is nice. Two chimera attacks, fortress dragons. Uh, when you kaiju something, sometimes it's hard to get over that kaiju, so you just contact fuse it. And sometimes you're playing against like a machine deck, like maybe like ancient gears or more likely Orcus, and you can just contact like everything away all at once, or at least most of things at once. Two Mega Fleets. Uh, Mega Fleet just gets rid of a lot of problems. Like, if they summon, no matter how hard it is to get rid of it, if it's in the extra deck zone, like, nine times out of ten, you're just going to get rid of it. Unless it's, like, Dark Law. Oh, and not only if they have, like, Heratic, and you don't want them to, uh, to bounce, you can, you can set, like, a Hertz, and you can contact Fuse it with it face down. Two Novas. Uh, pretty standard, regular Nova. You know, he does his Nova stuff. You know, special summoning, banishing, all that nonsense. But more importantly, the Infinity, the boss monster, I guess you could say. So I prefer the fusions, but uh, he's really good too. He can, you know, negate. You know, you know what Infinity does. I play one Volcasaurus. He doesn't come up very often. Maybe like one in a hundred games. But in that like one game, he'll like just steal the win and some and he's another like level five some people run the constellar instead and uh that's fair but most of the times you're, you're locked into machines so it doesn't really matter and two cleave forts uh, i don't like uh the cyber dragon link whatever his name is because i i, I like to break the boards instead and cleave fort helps with that you know negating like uh like floodgate cards and stuff like that and uh I would show the extra deck, but, I mean the side deck, but, you know, things vary between locals and stuff like that. But one thing I would recommend is the Inspector Border, because, uh, where is it? Inspector Border, because he is a light machine, so if you can get Cyber Dragons in the graveyard, he is searchable with Repair Plant. And, uh, that's all for today.